So hi everybody, welcome to my um, visibility tapping, which we're going to do this evening. Um, so I have put in the video in the group, but just for a quick recap for everybody, EFT stands for Emotional Freedom Technique. So it's um, been known as the needle of acupuncture and it's also called tapping. So it, you tap on certain meridian points, um, the, on your eyebrow just there, um, just come closer for everybody, on the inner, inner eyebrow, on the bone, um, on the side of the eye there, which is on the bone as well, and you do it with two fingers because you've got meridian points on there as well. On this bit, under the eye, under the nose, and, and that bit on the chin, and then the collar, um, sorry, I just put my glass on because I need to see. Um, sort of, you know, if you come down here, so you've, I think you can see me, um, to those points there, um, like your collar bit, and then you go about two fingers width to the side. But don't worry too much about it. It doesn't really matter if you're absolutely spot on. Okay, and then under the arm, which is along the bra strap for women. Okay, and they say you, could, you should tap between five and seven times. So you, but you can tap, some people tap all the way through what, because I'm going to be saying something, you're going to be repeating it. So it's up to you if you want to keep tapping, but some people get arm ache. So you can just tap through what I'm saying or what, what you're saying. So you can do it that way. So five to seven at least. So yeah. So with tapping, when you tap on these meridian points, it's actually releasing the energy, the negative energy. It's actually releasing um, you're sort of acknowledging, releasing those, um, sorry, <coughs> so it's actually acknowledging and releasing those issues and those attachment to those issues and so that you're actually free from it. So you're not, you're basically disassociating yourself from it. So it's, it's making you um, detach from it basically. Okay, so anything else? I was just double checking there's nothing else I need to say. Yeah, connect to the relevant part because this is a group situation. Now, in my individual tapping, it will be very specific to the people that are saying it. So that's why I sort of asked for if people wanted to bring their individual um, comments and things and fears. But a lot of this will apply to a lot of people. Some of it is more generic than others. So what I would say is really concentrate on the areas that you find most useful or resonate with you and try to connect with them and think about them more and then you'll get an even better experience by tapping and releasing them okay so so you're going to repeat after me whilst tapping round and so we do it in that order that i've just said and as i said with two fingers and um, i say that's that's because the meridian points on there are different meridian points around so <coughs> We start on the karate chop point as well, which is that bit there along that line of the hand. So want to just tap on there as we start. OK, so even though I'm afraid of being visible. I love and accept myself anyway. Even though I'm afraid of being visible, I love and accept myself anyway. One more. Even though I'm afraid of being visible, I love and accept myself anyway. All these fears of being visible I'm afraid of being visible. I'm afraid people will mock me and say I'm barking up the wrong tree. I'm anxious. I have butterflies in my stomach. I feel scared of what others think. If I'm not visible, I don't have to face the fear. 
of being a successful businesswoman? Am I worthy of that status? I want everything to be perfect. Do I know enough? Do I give enough? Can I deliver? Top of the head. It's difficult to discuss things publicly. If I'm too visible and successful, I'm scared I'll neglect my family. Is it okay to put myself first? Is it okay to think of myself? I don't have enough time to be visible. I'm too busy. What will people think? I can't be visible. Will they judge and criticize me? What if I say the wrong thing? It feels scary to be visible. It feels vulnerable to be visible. I'm not sure I can do it. What am I really afraid of? Is it really true? It doesn't feel safe to stand out. I'm not sure if I'm good enough. Everyone else does it really well. Can mine be as good as them? Will anyone want to listen to me? I just want it to be perfect. But this is stopping me from doing it all. This is holding me back. I'm putting it off. I should be able to do this. But I can't. It feels so scary. What if I'm trying my best and I can't do it? And people judge me and people criticize me. What if I'm not good enough? All of these fears around visibility. So take a deep breath in and exhale. <laughs> Inhale and exhale. And just release all of that now. Okay. I just wanted to say, Sophia, is it? Will they see me on the recording because you're on the main screen? Is that all right? Yeah, okay. I didn't know if because on the other ones I thought you just saw the main screen. That's fine. Okay. I thought it would be nice to have all of us doing the exercise. So. Oh, that's fine. Yeah, no, it's just that earlier I saw the main screen, so I was just thinking that that's okay. That's fine. So take another deep breath and we'll do the second round now. Okay, so that, that round was basically the truth tapping that was um some people call it the negative tapping and the reason why we do that is to make that shift out of the way so that positive putting on that positive is so much easier okay so the neck that should be released some stuff now okay what i should have said again is at the beginning could you think to yourself what out of 10 how much was this an issue for me okay so 
10 out of 10 is the worst issue. It's just, I've got so much fear, I can't do it or whatever. And then how, how much would you rate that out of 10 at the beginning? And then I want you to notice the shift in that by the end. So just have a little quick mental note on um, what you think that was at the beginning, okay? So we're going to go into the positive tapping now, okay? So, okay. So on, just start on the eyebrow on the positive. So when I become visible, people will start to know me. Trust me and eventually contact me. People will start resonating with my message and eventually trust my expertise. I am enough. I give enough. I can totally deliver my services to those who need it. I can be confidently visible. I am powerful. I am inspiring. I am empowering. I can be calm when I think of being visible. I can be calmly visible. I know enough. I have all the time that I need. I can see how I can easily fit this into my schedule. I trust that I can do this and have balance with my family. It is safe for me to be visible. It's okay to think of and put myself first. Most people are kind and supportive. They do want to listen to what I have to say. In fact, they are greatly interested in what I have to say. I want to help people. And I know I can do this by being visible. It doesn't need to be perfect. No one is perfect. I can do this. I can do this with ease. I find fun and great ways to do this. It is safe to stand out. It is safe to share. It is safe to be me. It is safe to be visible. I can do this easily. I look forward to being visible and the connections it will make and the new opportunities it brings. I am confident, strong, at great, well, sorry. I am confident, strong, and great at being visible. Take a deep breath in and exhale. So this time you're breathing in all of the goodness and exhaling some of the bad still, maybe. So you can shake off some of that, some of that negativity if you want. Let's see how you're feeling. So how are you all feeling? 
I know you're all very visible, so uh, <laughs> but so now to the people that are watching the recording that as well, I would say now you need to sort of rate what is that fear out of ten now. So have you gone? You know, you will have you will have made a shift because everyone makes a shift. So what? How much of a shift have, have you made? What was it at the beginning? What is it now? So so for me at the beginning it was a seven. Yeah, and now a four. <laughs> yes. um, so I would say for me it was about a six yeah. um, it, feels, it feels safe I think it was the safe that was the resonance with me so I just think well yeah possibly now two, one, two in terms of how safe I feel now okay so yeah so to people you know we'd, if it was an individual then we'd sort of hone in on that and go on the sort of you know let's talk about that safety i mean we can maybe do that for everyone if we if everyone thinks that might be helpful but um yeah that's that's good okay jen so um for me i i be completely just completely honest with you i'm when it comes to visibility i'm pretty fearless um but i found the empowering of the positiveness of the last section that you did yeah nice and it just kind of it almost felt like it it was locking in the affirmations of, yeah of saying it so there must be a fear there at some level in order for me to feel better by the end of it but it okay. yeah it was it was really nice especially sort of affirming. so what would you sorry go on. no sorry. i was just gonna say it's nice affirming positively it just it, yeah it makes you feel good i guess Okay, good. And what did you did you rate at the beginning? Then maybe a two or something, a two or a three. If or I'm going to look back, so I didn't rate. Um, yeah. yeah, but if I looked back, it would probably be about a two, I reckon. Okay, and what would you say it was now? Would you say it reduced or? Yeah, yeah, like one or zero. In fact, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Good. Good. Excellent. So um, sometimes I find that people get down to sort of a three or a four or something maybe two um with the tap in so what i'd do um the second part is what i'm going to do now which is the color the color stuff the color visualization now i have used this on its own and i have and people have had shifts from one person had a shift from 10 to a zero just with this this technique so but i often use it after the tapping just to chip away at those last one or two you know or bring that number down a little bit bit further so i'm gonna to have to be general because we're doing it for a group so um whereas normally i would have more of an interaction about it but i'm sure that this can still work really well so it's a bit woo woo but go with it don't question yourself and just think of the things that you um first pop in your head and go with it okay so right so i want you to just take a deep breath in again and exhale and another one and i want you to start connecting with your body and i want you to think of that fear and i want you to well, normally tell me, but I want you to think about where that fear is in your body. And I want you to visualize where that fear is. And I want you to, um, again, I'm so used to saying tell me, sorry. I want you to think about what is the color of that fear in that area of your body. What is the shape of that fear? Is it 2D? Is it 3D? That colour, can you describe it in more detail? So if you think it's black, is it is it a real deep black? If you think it's red, is it, could you describe it as something, is it blood red or is it, you know, bright red? So describe the colour in your own head or you could write it down and normally you would describe it to me. So just imagine that, the colour, the shape, um the texture of it is it solid is it light is it um is it like um yeah is it cold is it hot so just really think about what is that and where it is in your body 
And once you've done that, what I want you to do is I want you to think about what you need to do to get rid of it. So do you need to, and in your visualization, in your imagination, you can think about what you need to do to get rid of that. So do you need to pull it out? You can do absolutely anything you want, absolutely anything. So just think about what you need to do now to pull that out or take that out. And just visualize doing that now. Visualize taking that out in any way that you want. Taking that out now. Taking that out, okay? So then next I want you to say, look at it and say, is there any more left in there? Or you can ask yourself, is there uh, anything else I need to do to it? Because sometimes you can get out and then it'll be there in front of you or in a bucket or something. <laughs> and you might want to chuck it in the bin over cliffs, these sorts of things. So once you've got it out, is it gone or do you need to do something else to it? And if you need to do something else to it, you know, you can do that as many times as you need to until it's gone. And then just check in after you've done that. Has it gone? Is there any more? Search around in that area. Is there any more of that fear in there now? And if there is, do the same. Do you need to do the same thing with it or do you need to do something else? Until you keep doing that until you say, now that's gone now. Okay? So if you want to give us a nod if it's gone, but I'll just give you a little chance to take that out. Okay, so now what I want you to do is have a think of what colour do you need to put back in it. Okay, so again, think of that colour. Think of is if it's yellow, is it bright yellow? Is it like, what is the texture? Is it exactly the same shape to replace? Is it lighter? Is it, you know, just describe it to yourself and find all the detail of it. And when you've connected with that, and you can put it back in to where you need it to be. And sometimes that can go into that certain area. And sometimes it will flow into the whole of your body. Or whichever way you feel is comfortable and what you're needing to do. So you can breathe it in. You can imagine it coming in to where you need that to be right now. Filling you up. Just give you a minute to do that. And it's sometimes nice just to sit with that a minute because it feels really nice. Okay, so how's that for you, ladies? I really liked that. I really, really enjoyed that experience of, of the colours. And it was really interesting when I started to visualise. When you, when you said the second time, you know, imagine that fear, I asked myself, you know, what, what fear it is. And there was a fear of almost time. Um, of me having enough time to be visible enough that I right. think that was something that was still holding on and that was like almost like a tight belt of orange right uh, almost like cut it off but underneath that when you said look again there was almost like another layer of fear again that was there that I, I really enjoyed that it was it was a really nice experience thank you Good. so did it all go in the end I think that I think it still needs work, but it feels much lighter now, definitely. Good. And then it was nice to put that positive in as well, isn't it? Yeah, yeah exactly. What was your positive colour? Um, it was like a bright white light that was almost coming from within. Oh. And it was kind of like helping to burn away anything else that was there. It was really nice. Brilliant. That's lovely. Thanks. No, thank you. So for me... You asked me about the color and where I had a pain in my lower back. Right. That was shaped like a P. 
peanut. Okay. <laughs> Nothing is not no wrong answer. <laughs> and um, the color that I immediately thought about, and I haven't changed in my head. I just kept it. Was like navy blue. Okay. I'm what's like a a really intense kind of bruise. Um, hot, like a stabbing kind of pain. Yeah. Um, and funny enough, <laughs> when you switch to the light a bit, it's really funny because that pain started to dissipate. Yeah. So I started to imagine, imagine, imagine it like a lighter and yellow color, bright. Yeah. Um, you know, just not completely cold, but just like warmer because it was like hot. Yeah, just a, a reasonable temperature for you. Yeah. So it's, it's really interesting, isn't it? It's like yeah, a lot of the EFT is EFT can be used for so much, so so many things. Um, it does actually, I forgot to mention, it does reduce the stress response in the amygdala that's been shown in the brain, which is the, um, Sinai sometimes talks about the fight or flight response in the brain. So it reduces that from tapping whatever you're doing and tapping on. And also it reduces, it's been shown to reduce the um, stress hormone cortisol. So yeah, it does reduce that. And also it's been um, chosen it's been used to reduce pain. Often people that have had lots of illnesses over a long period of time, some people work with people on their illnesses and reducing that and how stress affects the body. For me personally, um, I had MS symptoms 18 months ago. I had absolute exhaustion, pins and needles, all sorts of different things like that, um, heart palpitations. I was under a cardiologist and a neurologist. So this is how I started with my EFT journey. So basically when it started and I tapped on it, I realized how stress was causing my physical symptoms. And that's kind of how I got into it. Um, and so the tapping really helped me to reduce it. I was getting shakes and stuff like that as well. So yeah, it really reduced my um, stress levels and my physical symptoms as well. And it can be used for that sort of thing. So, um, so I said that it's a really yeah. powerful exercise. And her positive color was yellow. And I experienced that positive color flooding my body. It was a real sensation and felt lovely. Lovely. What was your other color when you started the exercise tonight? You often find, just while waiting for it to, to, to answer, um, you often find that... Um, Originally, the colours can be very dark, sometimes red if it's anger or anything like that. It can be very solid and very stuck and, or gloopy or something like that. And then the, the other colours that come after, charcoal dark grey. Yeah. So the other colours that come after are very much lighter, the more to do with light clouds, that sort of um, texture and lighter colours and vibrant colours. So, yeah. Yeah. I think it's a beautiful process. It's really interesting, isn't it? And um, I suppose we, you know, we all going to keep this video for doing the exercises um, yeah. just over and over in regards to visibility for who needs it. Yeah, you um, can do, yeah. So yeah. Has anybody has any more questions or? No, just to say thank you ever so much, Andrew. That was really, really good. Thank you so much. Great. I'm pleased you enjoyed it. Thanks. And uh, um, can you all, can you tell us all uh, where we can find you, um, and if somebody needs to, because I'm going to put this video on a playlist on YouTube, and we're going to collaborate and share um, this experience with others. So where can everybody find you? Yeah, so I'm Andrea Hood, EFT Mindset Freedom Coach, um, and you find most of my information on Facebook. Yeah, I do What's have a the website. Facebook page. Um, yeah, it's Andrea Hood, EFT Mindset Freedom Coach. I'll put, we can put a link in, can't we? Yes, of course. <laughs> it yeah. might be Mindset Freedom Coach EFT, actually, when I originally <laughs> set it up. So, yeah. I have yeah. got a website, um, www.andreahood.co.uk. Um, um, yeah. I've got awesome. That. Awesome. 
that's amazing. Thank you so much for coming in and um, giving us this experience. Um, thank you. Okay, thank you for having me. So I'll just stop recording now. <laughs>